Alright, let's take a look at what Janice has for sale. Of course, this is a dojo, so there's gonna be leveling up stuff, EV training stuff. If you uh, choose how are you, uh, you can see the current rank and the amount of points needed to uh, rank up this shot. And I'll say Pit Pat, I guess this is the default saying for uh, Janice. So, um, yeah, mm, if you choose train a Pokemon, you're gonna have the choice between leveling up one level or giving four EVs to HP or attack. That's what this represents right now. So, heading back to these two, what do they, what do they have to say? We will explain what you need to know to become truly superior in this role. Well, I already know that, but I guess I can explain that to you when the time comes. So, I have made my first chop, and uh, we're going to get a little tutorial on how to get customers. You're going to recommend a shop to passerbys? Passersby? Passersby? I don't know! Neither of, none of these make sense! Anyway, here we have our first customer. Oh, uh, yes, this is a new avenue. The, it only has one shop for the time being, so recommend. Do you know of any great shops that opened recently? This is the line that the first customer, the tutorial customer, will always say, so let's refer her to Janice Fitness. And uh, as a result, both the shop and the avenue will get points that will go towards ranking up both. Uh, ranking up your shop will increase the selection of things that you can choose, and ranking up the avenue has a variety of, of effects that we're going to go over as they become relevant, though the most noticeable one is the fact that you start getting discounts on everything that's being sold in the avenue as you rank up the avenue. So, I recommended the shop, and as a result, the popularity of both the, the, the avenue and the shop went up as I... I already explained that. So yeah, you really, you really, really want to try and level up these shops as much as you can. Come here every day, talk to NPCs that want to shop, recommend them shops, level up the shops, and if you do that, you're going to be making huge savings on items and all kinds of other stuff. It's really, really worth it. Of course, you should shoot to have a one of every type of shop because there are eight slots for shops and there are eight types of shops so definitely it's the best way to do it even though some shops are more useful than others so um here uh, it's my office where all my assistants are so uh, this npc here will explain to you uh the details on what you can do in the join avenue join avenue is for meeting people making discoveries and having fun a shopping mall that doesn't have the primary purpose of shopping. What the hell? So, yeah, um, design an avenue that will fill all visitors with joy and the desire to visit often. By the way, all the visitors, whether you invite them or recommend shops to them, their names will always begin in a J or an A, you know, for Join Avenue. This is the case in uh, Japanese as well. So, yeah, this is already stuff that I've shown you, but I'm going to show you a little more of that just so you can get a grip on uh, really the basics of the Joint Avenue and the important stuff that's happening on mine. So, yeah, she's talking now about uh, the communication features, the most uh, prominent one that you can use to uh, get uh, visitors to come here is, of course, the GTS's Magnemite Coil, which I already explained, though anyone that you meet in any other way online or as a passersby, passerby, I HATE THIS WORD! But, yeah, uh, anyone you encounter uh, using the communication features will come to Join Avenue. So, um, yeah, you can also, uh, on top of recommending shops, you can also invite other people to open their own shops. Uh, the, uh, the selection of what's going to be sold will depend on uh, the NPC you're talking to or the player, should you uh, elect to do that. If you want more details, uh, I'm going to give you a link in the movie description to the Bulbapedia page for the Join Avenue, so you can make, so you can read up on the mechanics uh, a bit easier on your own time. But yeah, there are many things that can be done when ranking up shops and uh, the Avenue itself. 
as she just said, you will get discounts when you rank up the avenue. Uh, you get a discount of 1% for each rank that you gained for a maximum of 40%. So, uh, if nothing else, you should really aim to uh, rank up the avenue to 41 in order to get uh, the entirety of that 40%, which will make things a lot cheaper. Well, of course, making things 40% cheaper makes things a lot cheaper. But, yeah, she's gonna explain each individual shop. There are, uh, she's lying there, there are eight kinds of shops that you can open at the Joint Avenue, but the eighth shop needs an avenue rank of 15, and the Elite Four needs to be beaten as well. That's how you unlock the final type of, of shop, just so you know. Assistant 2, yeah, her name is Assistant 2. She doesn't even have a name, or he, I don't know if it's the girl or the guy. But, uh, the raffle shop is basically a, a lottery that you can enter every day for free. You can gain some pretty interesting items. Of course, the Master Ball is the big prize. Uh, haircuts uh, will increase uh, happiness and lower uh, your Pokémon's EVs depending on the kind of haircut you choose. Dojos are used for increasing your Pokémon's levels and uh, EV training as well. The market is for buying certain kinds of items in bulk at a discount already from level 1 aside from Moo Moo Milk and Freshwater which are at the regular price, but everything else is at a discount. Flower shops carry berries. Uh, these are very good deals because those berries come for much cheaper than the corresponding healing items. Antique shops, it's a bit like the raffle shop in that uh, you can get rare items, but it works a bit differently. You can get stuff like shards, nuggets, uh, fossils, evolutionary items, stuff like that. Cafes are a bit redundant since they only uh, their purpose is uh, EV training, leveling up, and increasing happiness, but other shops take care of that already and do it usually much better. And the shop that you can't access right now is the nursery, which helps you uh, hatch your eggs faster, much faster, in fact, when you get some of the high-end products you can get from it. So, um, I'll tell you a perfect shop. I ALREADY HAVE A DOJO ON JOIN AVENUE, SO THIS ASSISTANT REALLY ISN'T USEFUL FOR A WHOLE LOT. THAT'S ABSOLUTELY IT. THIS ONE HERE IS GOING TO BE A LITTLE BIT MORE USEFUL. YOU CAN CHANGE YOUR TITLE, FAVORITE PHRASE, WHAT YOU SAY WHEN IMPRESSED. I'M NOT GONNA DO ANY, any OF THAT quite yet because I don't feel the need to. I need 260 more points to reach the next rank uh, for the avenue itself on top of that, so that's nice to know. Now, let's get out there because I think there are a few NPCs that are going to start visiting the avenue, so I'm going to take the opportunity to open some more shops. So, here we have a hiker who's going to tell you la la la, I'm your fan, and if I invite you, what kind of shop are you going to open? A dojo! I already have a dojo! God damn it! Well, I'm not going to open a second dojo, instead I'm just going to recommend the existing one. If there's a shop with a male clerk, I want to go there, so the dojo, fortunately, is run by a male clerk. So let's send him over to uh, Janice Fitness, and it should, in theory, work. We're going to get a few points for that. I don't remember how much. Uh, how, how many points you get dep depends on what uh, the guy says when you are about to recommend him a shop. So, 75 points! Wow, that is pretty good. Uh, uh, by the way, NPCs give you uh, uh, a little bit less points than actual players when you recommend a shop. Now, okay, we have a nurse, which is Jess. Let's see what she wants to open. Another dojo? Why does everyone want to open dojos? God damn it! I want to go shopping. So uh, I don't think the dojo is going to do it, but there's really nothing else I can do with this NPC. And... Yeah, that's not what, quite what I had in mind. Jess left, and you don't get any points for that when that happens. Now, I don't think there are any more NPCs coming this way for today, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow.
Alright, day two of running the Joint Avenue. Let's hope that I'm going to have some better luck in opening up shops that aren't a dojo. So let's see what this one wants. Oh, she wants to open a salon, so let's let her do that. So, on the second slot of uh, the Joint Avenue, we're now going to have a salon. We now have a dojo and a salon. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna visit her in just a moment. I'm just going to check out for other NPCs because the, I think there are gonna be other ones. Okay, so we got another scientist here. So, what does she want to open? Oh, I think that's a raffle shop. Is it? Yep, it's a raffle shop. So, yeah. I already have uh, three different kinds of shops. It, would have been more if I were if I were more lucky yesterday, but no more NPCs. Okay, so I guess we can take a look at uh, what we just opened. Of course, going into the how are you thing is going to uh, show you the same thing. Current rank, the points that are needed to rank up the shop. So if you choose groom a Pokemon, you're gonna have uh, the choice between uh, uh, some th some cuts that will increase happiness and one that will increase happiness but lower speed. And as for the raffle shop, well, why not? We're gonna enter the raffle, see if we're gonna get anything good, even though it's just a rank one raffle shop. Prize number nine, full heal. Okay, not bad, free full heal. I'm going to take it. So, that is going to be all for today. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a chance to open more shops and maybe level something up. Day three, let's see what kind of NPCs we have today. Oh, we have a lass here, if I can just stop her, thank you very much. So, what does she want to open? Oh, she wants to open a cafe, so let's have her open a cafe then, even though it's probably the least useful of all the shops. I want one of each on my, on my avenue, so I'm going to... Uh, let her open one regardless, and this guy is going to want to open a salon, so let's choose recommend instead. Please take me to a shop you recommend. I can uh, show this guy any shop and he's going to be okay with it. The The problem though is that it's uh, he's not going to be worth very many points. So I'm going to go uh, and show him the dojo since uh, it's uh, it's one of the most useful shops out there in the Joint Avenue. So he's going to say it's a wonderful place, so I'm going to get points for both the Avenue and the dojo. 37 points. And as a result, yeah, Joint Avenue's popularity went up by 37 points. Excellent. Now, before... Uh, going over to take a look at uh, the cafe. There's one thing I want to do. A brilliant idea, courtesy of Fiona31415. I'm going to change what I'm being referred to as in this avenue. I'm going to change it to Coach, in keeping with the whole Viet Crystal theme I'm trying to establish. Absolutely brilliant idea. So now everyone will call me Coach, because I am a monster coach. So, let's head over to the cafe, and yeah, everyone's calling me coach now, which is kind of funny. So, here we only have Power Lunch F, Friendly Drink, and Friendly Lunch, and that's about it for now. 